Well, have you ever noticed flashes or small specks floating in your vision? What causes it and is it cause for alarm? Dr. William Benevento, an ophthalmologist with Eye Surgeons Associates, is here to explain. Thanks for coming in. Sure. So if somebody hasn't experienced this, kind of describe what might be going on. What What is a flash? What What's going on? So what happens as we all get older is the jelly that fills the back of the eye shrinks. And as it shrinks, it gets replaced by fluid in the back of the eye. It peels away from the back of the eye. As it peels away, it can tickle the light sensitive layer and you get little flashing lights, little sparks. Oh. Uh, as it peels away too, you can get little densities on the back face, the jelly or in the jelly. And because that's in a bath of fluid, they swish around. Those are your floaters cobwebs, little specks, blobs floating around. Uh, generally, you see them against a bland background like the sky because it's easier to see them. They don't get mixed up in all this stuff. Yeah. I would imagine this would be alarming when you experience this. Is it yeah. something, a sign of something serious? It is alarming for a lot of people, and if they aren't alarmed, they probably should be. Uh, new flashing lights, a shower of floaters, or a dark black curtain in your side vision can be a sign of a tear in the light sensitive layer. Most people, when the jelly peels away, it doesn't take anything with it. But sometimes there's a sticky part between the jelly and the light sensitive layer. And if it tugs hard enough, it can tear the light sensitive layer. And if fluid gets behind that, it blisters it off the back of the eye. That's called a retinal detachment. He'd rather not have one because it requires surgery to fix. So if we catch it early, we can basically catch it when it's just a tear. We can laser around it, weld it down so no fluid gets behind it. You don't have to worry about the retinal detachment. Mm -hmm. But right. most people do fine. Most people don't have retinal tears, but okay. you don't know until you get looked at. Have it checked. And, and, a, and a retinal detachment is very serious. Yeah, that can be vision threatening. Yeah. yeah. You can lose vision with that. Yeah, so that's why you definitely want to get it checked out at least the first time you experience sure, it. And so, people can live with it if it's not something serious, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, if, yeah, anytime we take, almost everyone has floaters. You talk to anyone between, you know, around 40 to 80 is when the jelly peels away, and almost everyone gets that so you talk to your friends and you hear about their floaters mm -hmm. uh, there's really not a lot to do about the floaters themselves they're just they're annoying but that's about it mm -hmm. um, some people talk about lasering them or trying to remove them that's kind of it introduces risk that you really don't need. Yeah, maybe a little too invasive. Yeah. There's also another uh, aspect of this, something called an ocular migraine. Explain that. Sure. So a lot of times we get people come in who have flashing lights, but they're different. Uh, frequently, these are people who have had migraines in the past. And what can happen is they get these shimmery lines in their vision, almost like looking through heat waves. Uh, or a kaleidoscope, and usually it happens in both eyes, although it could be much more one than the other, uh, and typically it lasts about 15 to 45 minutes. Wow. But the kicker is it doesn't have to be associated with the migraine headache. So they can get a visual migraine or an acephalgic migraine, which literally means migraine without the head. And a lot of times they're confused because they're getting this shimmery, these flashy things in the side vision, and they think that it's something like a tear, but it isn't. Mm. All right, so I guess the, the message here is that if you experience any of these things, you should have it checked out to make sure that it's okay. Absolutely. Flashing lights, shower of floaters, dark black curtain, you should give us a call. All right, well, we appreciate the information and the good descriptions as well, Dr. Sure. Benevento with Eye Surgeons Associates. Thank you.